Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the manager of training services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to take a look at a new feature in Inventor 2023. It's an easy way to delete broken sketch references. I think this is one of the, the best improvements for this year because I know myself, I've been using Inventor for a really long time, and sometimes I find myself with broken sketch references that I just have a difficult time deleting. I don't know why, it just seems like it's hard to grab. It's usually just a point somewhere. And to get just that one point it is hard to, to select and get rid of. I don't know if you've had that problem, but I do sometimes. So what I have here is I have uh, basically a block where I cut a, a cutout in the top, and this hole that runs through the, the lower section of it is located off of the, uh, the depth of this cutout. So if I delete this, I'll get my normal dialog box about deleting the dependent sketches and features. I'll delete the consumed one, but I will not delete that because I want to be able to uh, keep that feature. You can see that the depth of it or the location vertically is based off the depth of that cutout. So if I say OK here, and uh, if I jump into this feature here, you can see it's already got a little bit of a warning that there's some sort of problem. If I jump into that sketch, you'll see I get that nice bright pink purple line that lets me know that there's a reference there that is broken. Now in my right click menu, I do have a select broken projections. And then I can hit delete and it'll go away. So a lot easier than what we've had to do before. That one probably I could have gotten uh, rid of fairly easy, but I just randomly have some weird geometry that's not easy to get rid of. There I, I was able to easily select it and delete it. Well, that's all for now. I'd love to hear what you think of this new feature in the comments below. If you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to reach out to me at my email address there on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.